Okay, project descriptors. Let's have a look at this. The project title. The title is clear and concise relating to a real world problem. It's one mark. Knowledge. Introduction. Total of four marks. Objectives are clearly stated and relate to the title. There must be comprehensive description of the project. Limited description of the project and detailed contents page with page numbers. So comprehensive description of a project and then limited description of a project. Hmm. Two marks, then one mark. And that's got to be cleared up. Method of data collection. Data collection method is clearly described, appropriate, and without flaws where the data is genuinely obtained. Data collection method is stated. So you state exactly how the data is collected, I guess maybe by survey, observation, counting, whatever. Presentation of data. Data which is genuinely obtained is accurate and well organized. Data Data which is generally obtained is presented, is not well organized. Oh, it looks like they are giving different grades depending on the quality. Data collection method is clearly described. Two marks. If it is only stated, they get only one mark. Comprehensive description of a project is two mark, but if it, there's only limited description, they get one mark. I see. Presentation of data. Data is genuinely obtained, is accurate and well organized, two marks. But if data is generally obtained, is present, but is not well organized, it's one mark. Tables, graph, diagrams, formulas, proof included. Correctly labeled, clearly and logically stated. So you have tables, you have graph, you have diagrams, you have formulas in the data. You also have proofs are to be included. If they are correctly labeled, they are clearly and logically stated. They are used appropriately and reflect the data collected marks for that but if the tables their graphs diagrams formulas proof included and only reflect the data collected one mark so they're not very clear and they're not used appropriately but they reflect the data collected accurate use of mathematical concepts one so these one or two marks are under C comprehension Hmm. Analysis of data. Detailed analysis of findings done, which is coherent and reflects the data collected and presented. So the students should have to sit down and analyze those data. And that's two marks. But if there is limited analysis of the findings that reflect the data collected and presented, there is only one mark. Discussion of findings. Discussion of findings. Statement of findings clearly stated. Statement of findings follow from data collected. So students have to clearly st state the statement of findings and it must follow from the data collected. Then they make a conclusion. The conclusion was based on the findings and related to the purpose of the project. So the conclusion must have been based on the findings and not something else. And they must relate to the purpose of the project. 
why you did the project okay two marks but if the conclusion is related only to the purpose of the project and you fail to relate it to the findings only one mark oral presentation information was oral presentation overall oh overall presentation information was communicated logically using the correct grammar two marks information was poorly organized or difficult to understand at times only one mark so you have a total of 20 marks 20 marks so example exemplar hmm. example of the of the of a project project title all right i'm going to come going to keep this separate and examine this example separately <laughs> 